Well, that's Camfari 2011 out of the way. Had a pretty good run out there myself. Um, ended up upside down or side on sort of once. Got a bit of water in it. Uh, Colin turned his completely upside down, so he had a few more dramas than me, a flat tyre. I had a pretty good clean run, no flat tyres. Uh, the MR snorkel kit um, works remarkably. That was just, when you see the handlebars go under, you tend to think it's all over. Um, but no, it, all, it pops up and keeps going. Been an interesting race this one. Um, they haven't done the scores yet, so there's a lot of guys that were on the lead lap that missed checkpoints, things like that. Uh, a lot of casualties out there in the field. I don't know how many bikes finished, but there was definitely a lot of bikes down. Uh, so we'll have to wait and find out and see what the results are. Cole, how did you go with the track out there? Was it what you expected for Camfari? It's always very deep towards the end. Um, as the day goes on, the tracks, uh, basically railroads, get deeper and deeper and deeper. One, one big thing you've got to do towards the end of the day is if you keep going straight, you'll actually, the bike will fall down or get hung up so the wheels will just be spinning. So one thing I found very helpful is just to cut across everyone else going straight ahead, you just sort of cut across and you get traction. So, try that? so yeah, more or less sort of weaving it together, that did yeah. seem to be the go. If you're crossing tracks, you don't get caught in the deepest of the ruts. If you do get stuck, you'd be surprised when you get off your you know, belly button deep in water trying to lift one of these things isn't, isn't too much fun. The hard thing is too, like in the swamp itself, you can't see the, the bottom of the floor. So basically when it's all funneled in with the trees, everybody goes that way. So basically there's spots there you drop into the almost the handlebars are going under the water so you've got to try and go sideways so you're not actually in the wheel ruts. Yeah you mentioned trees there uh, once again we did camp a couple of years ago and um, there's there's trees close together everywhere our quads are about 1230 mil wide uh, I don't reckon you'd want to go any wider than that and I understand you had a few problems with trees. Yeah yeah you've got to watch out for the ones that sort of jump out in front of you I had the same problem last time um, I hit a tree at probably 40 or 50 kilometres an hour I guess and ended my race so yeah if you want to finish you got to just slow down a little bit and avoid the trees. Alright thanks mate, we'll, uh, maybe we'll be back next year eh? Maybe.